What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and in today's video we're going to be bringing you that big anticipated Outriders demo news. Now they've just released this on their Twitter so I wanted to bring a video so you guys could uh, basically see exactly what's coming with the demo, what we're doing, the size of the file, the time that the demo is going to be released and all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, if you find this video helpful at all, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more Outriders content as well as other games, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And if you want to meet people that love Outriders or are going to be playing Outriders, looking for groups, then be sure to head over to our Discord channel. The links will be in the description below, but let's get Let's get straight into this video. So let's get straight into the juicy bit and here are the times for the demo releasing. So for the UK it's 5pm which for me is a great time, you know, get off work, have dinner, sort your kids out, you know, and then get on and start grinding. However, there is no pre-download, so when the time releases, you're actually going to have to download the game as well. For me, that's not a big problem because, you know, I have good internet, but if you don't have good internet, you might struggle to get on for a few hours, especially the pure volume of people that are going to be downloading this at the same time. So on top of that, and with that said... They have confirmed it to be a demo, and this is the big thing, right? People are, uh, have been saying it's going to be like a beta, and, it, and it's, you know, people thought it would be. But they've confirmed it's a demo, not a beta. So they, they, they don't want you to experience bugs. They don't want you to experience something that you're not going to experience in the actual full game. So they are giving you a demo. And this means it's basically complete for us to play without having to worry about it being buggy. Although, you know, please respect that it's a new game. They could have bugs, of course. But it does show confidence in the game that they're actually releasing it as a demo and not beta. Now, of course, it's 100% free. You don't need to purchase the game and you don't even have to have a pre-order. That, to me, shows confidence even more. They don't even want you to spend any money. They're saying, look, you can try this game and you can get it if you want it after that or if you don't want it, you don't have to buy it. So that, to me, is very, very confident um, by the Outriders team you know, to, to actually let us try it before we buy it. Uh, of course, it's going to be available on all different platforms. They will be available in Germany. Now, I didn't think this was an issue, but it seems to have been highlighted that it will be available for PS players or PlayStation players in Germany. You will have to go through your age verification if you're from Germany. But, you know, that's good news for people in Germany who play on PlayStation, right? I, like I say, I didn't know that was an issue. I didn't know there was issues there, but... Hey, you can play the game. <laughs> and it's also available, of course, to all players on PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, PC via Steam. And also, you can stream it via NVIDIA GeForce Now. Now, being available on all of these platforms is great. And I think it gives us an equal shot at trying the game. Sometimes some things work on PC and they don't work so well on um, console. So it's good that we all get a fair shot at trying this game out on our selected platform. Now, the download sizes, they're going to be 24 gigabytes on PC and 22 gigabytes on console. This is quite a big download for consoles especially, but this could slightly you know, be a bit higher with the decompression. So leave a bit more space on your hard drive than required to guarantee that you're actually going to get that download. Now going into the crossplay, this is great news as well. It will be enabled for the demo, meaning you'll be able to play alongside your friends on other platforms. This, however, does need to be turned on manually for the demo in the settings tab. Automatically, it will be turned on in the, in the full game. But just for the demo, you are going to have to click that on yourself in the settings tabs. And you'll be able to transfer your progress as well if you play the main game on the same platform account, meaning... So if you're on PlayStation, it will go across to PlayStation. But if you play it on PlayStation on the account, your save from demo will not go across to your PC character. It, this is just for the demo, okay? So basically, it's not going to cross. If you're playing it on Steam on PC, for example, this is a good example. If you've got it on Steam for the demo. If you then buy the game on Epic Store you're not going to get your progress. It's not going to transfer your progress over. So be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you're playing on your main, uh, main account and make sure you've got the same kind of um, store that you're buying it from or you, the store that you're actually going to use for the main game. Now, you know, it is a demo. 
it's you know and usually demos basically they offer you a certain amount of time or a certain level cap and there are some restrictions on this demo of course now this is a no time limit experience okay so there's not a time limit on the on the demo and it's actually planned to carry on even when the game is officially released officially live on the 1st of april so even if you're late to the party you can still try it out or you can still keep doing that same demo over and over again just to get your outriders fixed until you have the means or the ways to buy the full game which to me again is a great touch so within the demo you're going to get access to the game's prologue and the opening chapter and this means gear and enemies you come across will of course be the early variants of course the further you get into the story the more powerful the gear and the enemies will become just like every other game that we play like this and the demo runs up to up until the showdown with Gorse and basically the first rival altered who may even be more dangerous than you they they put it as so there's going to be after the main start sort of story prologue uh, some side missions will unlock after you defeat uh, defeat Gorse and um, so you'll be able to go back and explore the world as well so it's not just going to be the um the actual story you're going to you're going to be able to explore you know and that's what they want people to do is explore the whole um, open world scenario Okay, on the demo, it also has four classes and six character slots, which means you can try every class out and you can also try every character without deleting any of them. So you don't have to go and like delete one to, to add another. They're going to give you a slot for each character, which again is absolutely fantastic. However, the character level are going to be capped at level seven, basically. So... You know, you're only going to be able to get to level 7. There's no point of letting you go all the way through because then what's the point of getting the full game? Now, this will allow you to earn your class's fourth ability. So when you get to this level, you'll have a fourth ability and be able to mix and match your active skills in the demo. You know, so you can use the skill points. Um, you'll learn two skill points that you can apply to your skill tree basically during this time to give you a little taste of that. You can progress up to world tier 5, and world tiers are, of course, the dynamic difficulty system. Uh, a lot of different games have this. At level 5, your chance for higher rarity gear is increased, of course, but the drop chance for legendary gear is still very low, because they don't want people just to have all the best gear straight away, which is like any other game of this genre. You know, they don't want you to get all of the good stuff straight away. Now, resources will also be capped at a certain generous amount, they've said, in order to safeguard balancing for when you go into the main game, which is understandable. You know, they do want to balance this out so you can actually um, go into the main game and not be sort of towards end game or, or have everything you need and just kind of buy everything you want. So it's pretty good that they are capping stuff. Now, resources, of course, they're mainly used within the uh, crafting system, but you can also be traded for better gear from the in-game armorers, kind of like, you know, Destiny 2, uh, where you go to the different vendors. And the crafting system unlocks in the full game once you're beyond the demo content. You can save your resources for use with that system, though. So any resources you get from the demo will go across. However, you won't actually unlock the armorers uh, on the demo system or the crafting sorry so basically save up as many resources as you can you know they are capped but save as many as you can maybe cap it out for when the actual game launches so the demo is not going to include any trophies or achievements of course but your in-game accolades will transfer along with your regular progress and the good news for all of the streamers out there is you're free to stream any part of the demo with no restrictions however they have said and this is really important at the end of of the demo basically there's a trailer and that contains licensed music so they recommend that you're cautious when streaming this section because you may or may not get a copyright strike and i think that's again another great touch from them to add that little bit of information so we don't all go and get copyrights you know and and lose your revenue or whatever on that video or on that live stream so guys that's all the information we have make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button i will see you all on the 25th we'll be literally streaming this for a long long time so be sure to hit that subscribe and the little notification bell to be notified when we go live take care everyone and i'll see you all next time let's go